The following video was recorded in June 2020 as part of our virtual open day. The information in the video was correct at the time of recording. For more information on these programs, to arrange a one-to-one -one discussion with a member of the team, or to apply online, please visit newbury-college.ac.uk. Good morning, welcome to the Beauty Therapy. My name is Alison Bent. I'm going to um, introduce you to the department and Louise is going to say some things as well. So welcome to Newbury College. Um, as you start the next stage of your education, we're here to support you and help with the transition from school into college. So why should you come to us? Um, it's because we are progression focused. All the subjects are it's careers, not courses. So we are getting you ready for work. We have a lot of employer led um, activities that we do. We have employers coming in just checking our standards um, and we do encourage you to go out and do work experience with employers as well. But we know what the industry want. We have very good connections with all of the salons and spas in the areas. And the last one is skills based. It means that you are actually learning what you're going to be doing out in industry. There are exams, but there are different methods that we can get that information from you. So if you're not great at exams, because it is a practical based subject, it means that you're going to be interacting with clients, which makes it a lot easier for you. So the progression um, is either college or sixth form. Sixth form, uh, you do A-levels and then university. In college, you can do a variety of qualifications, BTECs, MBQs, T-levels, which then can go on to HNC, HND or university. And we do have a new university centre that will be opening up this year at college, so that can all stay studying in Newbury local. We also you can do apprenticeships or higher apprenticeships and that's all through the college. So we have a wide variety of um, choices for your chosen career, what you want to do. It's a faster route, more options available and it's lower cost and debt free for higher education. OK, your study programme is made up of various different elements, as you can see our lovely little jigsaw puzzle over there. You've got your main vocational qualification, which hopefully for us will be your beauty therapy. Um, because of the situation at the moment with um, COVID-19, then you may need to redo some of your maths and English. That will also be part of your progress as well. There are also work related activities as part of your programme. So we have employers coming in. You'll be going out and doing some work experience. Um, but if education has been a bit of a struggle for you, we have got fantastic progression coaches at college that can support you through what you need to be doing. Um, and they will have a look at perhaps your career progression. We are very lucky in beauty in that there are lots of things that you're going to be able to do with beauty therapy. So college life, what is there at college apart from learning? So there's a lot more to being a student. We have a cash point where you can take out free money. We have a lovely college gym. You can become a member. There's certain times which you'll get told once you start college so we can all keep fit. Um, we have a lovely <laughs> library. Um, so we can go if you don't have a textbook, you can borrow books or if you want to look, do deeper research. Uh, we can record programmes and things like that as well. We do the National Citizen Service. You can sign up to that. The students last year that signed up had a good time and enjoyed it, so we do recommend that. We have Starbucks, if you're a Starbucks fan and a street diner, and um, that is open morning, breaks and lunch to be able to get some tea and in evenings. We also do shows and exhibitions. If you'd just like to look at the picture, that's one of our level three students from the skills show of last year, and that was her model. Uh, we also do special project projects. We have the student council, we, so we do listen to the student voice. We do recommend we have two people from each class to represent and that you go to the meetings and it's quite good. It's not all negative. There's some positive that comes out as well. Once you get your ID badge, you can get a student discount. Once the shops are open fully or online, you can have a um, student discount with your ID number. We also do trips and visits. Uh, we will give you information of these. 
Some of them we try and do free as much as we can, but the ones that are going to cost something we do let you know on plenty enough notice. Part of your um, timetables tutorials and that involves one to ones, but we also deal with what's happening in the news, whether it be local or worldwide and may have debates and it just um, teaches you how to be listening to other people's opinions and deal with other people's opinions because we don't all agree to the same things, but it doesn't mean to say one's right and one's wrong. Um, work related activity, Louise mentioned that um, earlier, you do have to do work experience, it's government led, so we do have a team that can help set up with that and there's much much more that happens at the college so it's not all learning there is some fun things that you can do as well just like to go back to ali's quote on free money you actually have to have money in your account it's not just free <laughs> that comes out i love that i wish we could do that all the time <laughs> okay so employability guys um there are lots you are actually in beauty you're in an ideal position because you're learning what you're going to be doing out in industry um which is fantastic we help you with getting your cv together how to prepare for those um interviews that you're going to be doing as we said before we are trips we have employers coming in um there is so much support for you here at college and because we're a small college, it means that you get a lot more personal attention to helping you with your progression onto your courses. Work placements are normally between two and nine weeks. You can do one day a week if that suits you better or we can do block weeks, but that's more, tends to be more with childcare than it does with us. Um, but that's all alongside your own course. The nice thing about work placements is lots of our students last year managed to get jobs from it. Um, and that's also going to help you with your progression and your career. So we're just going to give you an introduction with the different levels of the, the beauty department, all depending where you're going to start. So the first one, beauty therapy level one. With this course, it'll enable you to complete the first stage of becoming qualified in the beauty skills. It covers introduction skills in the hair and beauty sector, and that's dependent on the qualification and um, what units that we will be doing and showing you. And you are expected to do this with, uh, within the salon environment. We do have two salons at the college. You will complete practical assessments on paying members of the public, so therefore gain experience on many different types of um, people. So they do come in, they book in appointments um, with Lorna, and um, you will be working on them, doing the things that we have worked on each other. And then um, to get your assessments done, it needs to be on clients. There'll also be theory input for each of the units that you'll be completing. And this will consist of a variety of assignments, research, quizzes and online learning. It will also include anatomy and physiology. And you do get that from level one because you need to understand the human body that, and how it works or you can actually do damage to your client. So hopefully you do enjoy biology um, and looking into how the human body works. We try and make it exciting. We do have a few um, good funny things that we can do with you. Uh, so as it makes it more exciting for you, like we got the students to face paint the muscles of the face or the bones of the face on each other and do all the movements. And they quite enjoyed that and used, took pictures and used that as revision aids for their exams. OK, level two, you can come in at level two if you'd like to. Depends on your GCSE grades. Um, at level two, we will give you all those high street salon treatments. So all the waxing, the manicures, pedicures, facial, eye treatments and makeup, all those things that you will find in a high street salon. Um, alongside your level two, you also have lots of opportunities to do some other workshops. Um, because gel polish tends to be really popular at the moment, um, then we run that alongside as well, and that would be for an additional cost. It just means that you get fully prepared and you've got more skills then to offer your employers. Again, the same as level one, you will be practicing on each other to start with. We force you to have all those treatments. Sounds an awful work day, really, doesn't it? You're going to force you to have a facial and a manicure. I mean, oh, can't believe it. Um, you will take turns at running a salon session. You'll be the monitor, you'll be the salon manager because it gives you an opportunity to see how the salon runs. 
Um, if you have a look at the picture there, that's actually taken in our salon this year. So you can see the lovely navy blue uniform um, and that part there, she's just using some hot towels um, to remove a face mask or a cleanser. There is also theory exams which will cover your knowledge and understanding. But again, they're not there to trip you up. They're all on information that we would have covered in class. You get plenty of opportunity to ask us. So there's anything you're not sure about, we'll go back over again and we will do lots of practice tests with you as well. I'll do level three as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, entry requirement for your level three is obviously you need your level two in your maths and English. So if you've been doing that alongside your um, beauty, then you'll need to have achieved that. Um, if you haven't already been at the college, then we will need your level two diploma to be able to go on to level three. Um, and we will probably carry out a trade test just to make sure that all your skills are still there because everything that you've been learning then adds on. Lovely photograph there of current level three girls, um, a few bit of straggly bits of hair, which we wouldn't allow in an assessment. Um, but again, you can see that lovely navy blue uniform and uh, that could be you lying on the couch having a nice massage then. We're going to be doing massage, mechanical massage. We do some seated head massage, which is very popular in spas. Stone therapy, we take that skin analysis you would have done at level two a little bit deeper. And then we will also introduce you to some facial electrical treatments. So things like non-surgical facelifts. And again, evidence is all through working on the clients on online exams as well. Remember, this is a practical based course, so that client evidence is essential. So friends and family are more than welcome to come in and be models for you, but they can't be models all the time because obviously we need to make sure that you are comfortable working on people you don't know, and that makes it more like a real life salon. So for the uniform and equipment, it is mandatory to buy a uniform and it has to be worn in all lessons. That's including your theory lessons and also tutorial. We expect you to wear it at all times. Um, your uniform will consist of tunic, trousers, a fob watch and a name badge and they must be worn at all times. And approximately the cost of this is £48. This can be ordered online or via the order form, which will either be posted out or handed to you, depending on when, how we see you. Shoes need to be black. They need to have enclosed toe and heel for health and safety reasons. The shoe should not be completely flat. It should have a slight heel. If you have a completely flat shoe, you could end up damaging your lower back and you will not last in this industry because you do do a lot of the treatments standing up. We do not allow any trainers, pumps or boots. So like the brogues that the girls and that are wearing just now, they're quite good. They have a slight heel. A lot of the girls are wearing them. But as we said, no trainers, pumps or boots. And this is your awarding body that has set these rules in place. And Newbury College follows the awarding body rules. We do, we keep going on about visits and trips. We do, as long as obviously the current situation has been lifted and we're able to get out and about. We do like you uh, to go to exhibitions. There are a couple of big exhibitions, one in London um, just before Christmas and after Christmas and then just uh, just before the summer as well. And that's where there are lots of different industry experts there that you can talk to. There's also a great place to do a little bit of shopping um, and you can get some of those key points, uh, key bits of your kit um, at the exhibitions because there's always student discount. Um, if we do offer you any workshops, it is well worth doing them within college. As you can see at the example there, um, we had a lash lift course that was £30 and the minimum cost that would be once you're qualified is around about £135. So you do save a lot of money with doing the college courses. And again, it is something that you can offer your employers to say that you've done this, you've done those treatments already. We try and keep up to date as well. So anything uh, that we are offering um, is what the industry wants. 
All right. Um, we will give you lots of notice, though, if there is a cost to any trips or exhibitions or anything like that. We'll give you a couple of months notice so you can start to pay it off gradually if that's easier for you. So how we assess you, there's um, a variety of methods um, if you're doing like an NBQ, VRQ. These will include um, formative and summative assessments on clients. So we will teach you how to um, do the treatment. You'll practice on your peers and then once we think you're ready, you will do your first client as a formative to say that everything's OK and we're happy with it. Once you've passed that formative, everything after that will be a summative and that will be your evidence that will go into your portfolios to sign off to say you're OK in that unit. Also, we'll have scheduled assignments, online external exams, if that's included in your qualification. There may be some graded practicals, synoptic exams. We could also include oral questioning, written assessments, direct observations and work experience reports. These all build up towards your qualification. We do ask how you're getting on at your work experience and we do get reference from them where your manager you're working with and work experience does have to give you uh, feedback that they pass on to us. So regular assignments are set during the year. Some can maybe short, but some might um, be a bit longer with a lot of research in it. Some we can do during class time, others are set over a period of time and you have a hand in date. Um, and it all uh, does in your own time and it has to be done in your own words. If you're doing a technical qualification, so we'll aim to get the students ready for commercial salon time with fee paying clients after the October half term. We also do that for the MBQ VRQ. We try and get you started as soon as we can so as you get used to working on clients and it makes it easier for you. The graded practicals are spaced out over the years so that you have plenty of opportunity to perfect your skills before undertaking the graded exam. The final graded exam is a synoptic test, which means you're given a scenario to work to and all practical assessments are done under the exam conditions on clients that are new to you. There are two theory exams in the second term with an opportunity to retake either of them in the last term if required. So that's the tech call. So it all depends on what qualification we'll be doing in September, depends how you'll be assessed for that qualification. Um, progression, as you can see there on the chart, if you start at level one and you then decide to leave us, then you will get roles as assistants or receptionists. From level two, you could get employment as a junior therapist that's working perhaps in a high street salon. You could perhaps work on the makeup counters or skincare counters in any, any of the uh, big shops around here. Um, from level three, you could then have that possibility to work onto the cruise ships, become a senior therapist, you could become a trainer. Um, and from level three, you can move on to higher education as well. We've had a few students in the past that have gone on to HNDs in um, spa therapies. Level four and higher education tends to be more specific to those things that you're doing. Um, and lots of people perhaps will go on to level four once they've been working for a little while, because then it gives you that opportunity to see where your loves lie, where you are really interested in doing. So where will your journey take you? We're now going to show you some um, testimonials from past students. So you could be boarding a cruise ship after you qualify once COVID-19 is all over and done with, hopefully. OK, just a little bit of Robin, who was with us 2014 to 2016. Um, she really decided that the cruise ships is something she wanted to do. There's a photograph of her there having Christmas in Sydney Harbour. Robin is on the far, uh, far left of the uh, shop there, the photograph. Um, she's made friends all over the world. Uh, absolutely loved it. She's had the opportunity to do some backpacking at the moment. Now she's back. She's still working alongside a spa, but she's also working for herself as well. Um, and she would really like to become a trainer of some sort. Um, so she's taken that opportunity to see the world. I think she travelled around. I think she saw 30 or 40 different countries um, on her tour. So absolutely fantastic opportunity to do that. You need to um, be progressing from level three, though, if you'd like to work on the cruise ships. 
We then have Beth, who she was with us the same time as Robin. Um, after she left college, she found it hard to settle an environment, but she was happy with the beauty industry. She did doubt whether it was her for a lot, but she worked in a salon with another ex-student and she loved every minute of it. She went on specialist facial training and studied many other beauty courses and she's now moved to a spa owned by the same person and she couldn't be any happier. She said she did have many issues with her mental health over the years and going to college you've been taught has opened so many doors and helped her with her confidence. So the beauty industry can be tough but she's glad she chose to do that job that she loves and she loves meeting new people all the time and learning new skills which you do constantly because we keep up with market trends and you're constantly learning. Louise and I are still learning and we love to learn a new skill. We get so excited and we <laughs> in the industry. Louise has been in the industry 30 years, is it Louise? Uh, yes. Yeah, 34 years I think I've been a qualified beauty therapist for, so a very long time. The picture there uh, with the dark hair is Beth, the, uh, the girl with the blonde hair is Jade, who was actually an ex-student from quite a few years ago. He's now running a spa in Kimbury. Um, and I knew those two would get on. I thought it would be really good for Beth with their confidence issues. So this is what I mean when we say that we've got really good contacts. We can help you with finding somewhere that's going to be as supportive for you um, as Beth found. Yeah, a bit of cannibal soup there. So, you know, if you're out on the cruise ships, um, once we can do that, as Ali said, um, there's lots of things you can experience. We have Jason, who he's one of our students at present. Um, he's enjoyed the course and it's also helped build his confidence a lot. He has grown a lot in the last year. He chose a beauty therapy because he likes to be in the industry and he loves to do makeup. And he said the people in the salon who made him feel really welcome with a friendly atmosphere to work in and he's learned lots of new stuff. He's also made lots of new friends, which is really nice to see his friendship group grown. And in September, he's going to be going on to study media makeup. That is his passion um, and that is what he wants to do. And he's now been given a place to do the media makeup. And he feels this beauty therapy course has taught him a lot about the beauty industry and has given that stepping stone from level one to then go on and do his media makeup. Kat was from quite a few years ago, fantastic student, always knew that she'd go far and I won't go through all of this because she's done so much with what she's been doing. She works alongside um, at college, she was working alongside at Donington as well and once she'd finished at college they offered her a job but she wanted to go on the cruise ships. Um, had a really good time. She's an absolute facial junkie. So all of the facial side, the electrical facials is the thing that she really, really enjoyed. Um, she then went back, worked in another spa at Nirvana, then back at Donington. Um, she's actually worked with Giorgio Armani. She's met, with, uh, met and worked with Mark Jacobs. Um, it doesn't say there, but she actually was the make, uh, one of the makeup artists at Paris fashion show quite a few years ago. Um, she's worked with ASOS, e-commerce students and at the moment she's in Vancouver at the moment uh, working on photo shoots with brands and photographers. So she's really expanded her career, found what her passion was and that's what she followed. Um, so that's been absolutely fantastic to watch her career grow. Taylor we, uh, came with us, she did a le uh, level two media makeup and then she went on to a level three massage course. Um, but the art side was always a side that really interested her the most. Um, she worked as a tattoo artist for a little bit and now she's got her own shop on Etsy um, and also a big following on Instagram. She does uh, uh, these custom nail designs and things like that. Um, and you can see the amount of detail that's in there. Um, so again, that's taken her in a completely different um, direction. And again, you know, very nice of her to say there. She had lots of support and encouragement from me, um, which was really lovely. <laughs> Uh, Mandy, 
uh, worked at Body Line and Cutting Line that if you remember that used to be down in Newbury. Um, she worked in Regis, went to Donington Valley and then she ended up working for Apple. Um, so completely different, but uh, she said it's responsible for the fashionable accessories. So she just feels as though she's kept in touch a little bit with her beauty side. We have Lima, who's a student at the moment, and she chose to study this subject because she wants to work in the beauty industry. And um, whether it's doing makeup professionally, someone's nails are working towards something else she may have to offer. She's learned so much, she says, about being at the college and um, all the different techniques and how to do them properly. And she says for her, Newbury College isn't what she expected or was told while in school. And um, from people around her, she heard different things with Newbury College, but now she says it's a place that has made her actually feel very comfortable. She can study and she can have fun and she's made so many friends. She says like, it's like a chill zone. Everyone feels welcome and comfortable. She says the staff are all kind and welcome and help with personal issues, studying, resources and much more. And Beauty Therapy have a wide range of resources to help you with your work and excitements. She says she's had so much help from her teachers and the resources that we have available to them to help her. The salon in the college is pleasant. It feels co a cosy workplace. Um, once you get warmed up to the salon, she was quite nervous at first when she started the course, but now she's really opened up and she's lovely. We're getting really good feedback from Lima from the clients and everything. And she's settled in and like she says, it felt at home and it felt comfy to be there. And she feels the salon's location is easily accessible for clients and it's a great place to chill before and while having the treatment. The best thing about the college is whatever you need, you'll always have someone there to help and guide you and you'll always have a good time and won't feel any doubt, stress and uh, anybody's. So in the future, she's looking to work in a salon where she, um, she can re receive some experience and also learn um, new treatments to help open up her own salon and be able to offer these treatments. And she's just enjoyed her time at the college and she'll be moving up from level two to level three with us in September. So how can we help? So we are here and um, the uh, tutors and also we have the support staff like we said before and we all work closely together we have meetings and discuss different things and we can all help you with your support and so there's learning support available there's progression coaches you know to help you you can have one-to-ones with them and they can help you to see if you're unsure where you want to go or struggling with certain units we have health and well-being like we said before there's a gym so you can go there we also have a health walk Sometimes we just have a bit of a break in our theory lessons because it can be quite heavy and we just get the whole class out and we take a nice walk round to health walk, get some fresh air and come back in. There's also financial support, so including free travel. We have the free bus from Thatcham to Newbury, but you do need your ID badge to get on that. There's also meals and help with childcare costs. You will need to speak to Jane West at Information Services for any financial support because Louise and I don't deal with the financial side of things. We do have careers um, advice officers that you can go to, so you might be a bit unsure. Should I stay on? Stay on at the university centre that nobody has, or should I go out in the industry, get some experience and then maybe come back in a couple of years time and do a bit of um, uni stuff. And we do have your careers advisors you can get appointments and speak to and they will help you with any university applications that you want to do. So are there any questions at all? Right, we've got some questions for you. Thank you very much to Alison and Louise. Do I get advice on how to set up my own business? Yes. Um, we've actually got a really good link with a, a lady that's running her own training academy and she's actually putting together a very good online course for us. But we offer that at level three, but we do also have lots of other employers that will come in and help give you guidance um, how to create a CV. We will look at uh, Funny enough, our students have just been doing a business assignment whilst they've uh, not been with us. So looking at where you would get your finance from, where you get your help and also help as to where you would get, you know, get your stock and where you would do your price point as well. So there is lots of help from that point of view. Beauty actually is one of those things alongside hairdressing that is really good to be working for yourself. It works around if you've got children. 
Um, that's how I first got into teaching um, because I had a son. So yes, it works around lots of different things. Cool, thank you very much. The next question is, do you do self tan treatments? Oh, we do run that as a workshop. It's not part of your units, but we do run it. We get a company come in to do some spray tanning with you. And if there's enough of you that are interested, then we will also show you to do the other method as well, using a cream and a buff and a mitt. So yes, we do do self tanning. <laughs> And lastly, how will social distancing impact salon treatments? Right, at the moment, obviously, uh, the college has been open supporting our vulnerable learners. We have had um, learners throughout from key workers as well that have been coming in. So we are very uh, confident now that our social distancing and all the PPE and all of our hygiene is being taken seriously. We've had lots of practice doing that since obviously this situation has happened. Beauty, at the moment we are still waiting for government guidelines as to what's going to happen with that. Um, however, there is disposable bedding in uh, the salons. There's lots of places to wash your hands. We have gloves, we have masks available. So once we are told that it is safe for us to be working, then obviously we will start to do that practical training. Initially, um, we are looking at doing some blended learning with you guys. So it will be a mixture of some online work very similar to what we're doing at the moment and then having sessions in small groups coming into college obviously to keep you safe as well i hope that's answered that okay for you yeah well that's all of our questions that we've had submitted so thank you very much to alison and louise and thank you for attending this live event uh, please check out our website for the times of other sessions that are coming up or select watch again for any that you've missed. Also, uh, Alison and Louise have made a fantastic video which shows you around the salons and walks you through the college. So please do go to our website uh, newbury-college.ac.uk slash open day and click on the little film icon. Uh, I'm going to send myself live just because Louise is looking really nervous at the moment because I'm talking <laughs> and uh, I left her on. So yeah, please do go to our website, have a look at that video that Alison and Louise have made. It shows you the salon, the reception, and Louise also takes you for a little walk down the street as well so you can see a little bit more about Newbury College. Don't forget that you can make an application to the beauty therapy course or any other course that you want through our website. And you can also contact us to arrange a one to one discussion with a member of the team. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you all very much and uh, goodbye. Bye. Bye.